Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over navigation for the Spitfire. So there's three things for navigation. The first is the magnetic compass, which is this down here. Then is the gyroscope compass, which is this one. And then is the kneeboard, which is this. So first the magnetic compass. It's obviously really hard to see the magnetic compass since it's down here, so I don't really use it much when I fly. I'm going to go ahead and put the game into active pause so I can just focus on talking. So the way the magnetic compass works is the ring um, doesn't automatically move. Every time you want to check what your direction is, you need to, you can scroll on this ring here, and you need to align the north symbol with this white cross. And from your perspective, it can be hard to do this, so usually I just try to make them parallel and hope that's pretty good. Then whenever you do that, there's going to be this white uh, line up here on top. And wherever that's pointing, that should be roughly where you're going. So for me, it's pointing at 263 degrees. And if I look on the F10 map at the bottom, my heading is 265 degrees, so that's pretty close. Okay, next, the gyroscope compass, which is this one. This one just runs with a gyroscope, so it's faster and easier to use, especially because it's up front. And this is the main one you use when you're flying. The only problem is that if you do intense maneuvers, this can become misaligned and you have to realign it. You can realign the gyroscope compass with this wheel right here. So for example, my heading was 263 degrees on the compass, and right now it's saying 270, so I'm going to align it so to say 263. And basically you want to use these two in combination. You want to use this one just for basic flying and for navigating, and whenever and after like maybe every 10 or so minutes, this have may, may have become a little bit unaligned. So every once in a while you want to come down here and you want to align the north symbol with the cross, check your heading, and then redial the correct heading into here. So if I turn the pause off, you can see that whenever I move the plane, the gyroscope compass moves. The last thing the Spitfire has for navigation is the kneeboard. You can hold right shift and click K to open it. You can click these arrows down here on the bottom to cycle through the pages. As you can see, it just by default it has a couple pages of the Normandy map, which is the one I'm flying on. You, you'll see a purple circle with a zero in it, that's your starting position. And the cool thing about the kneeboard is you can hold right control and click K, and it will put down a little arrow of where you are and your direction. So you can see right now I'm flying southeast and I'm coming from the southeast side of London. And if I do it again, you can see it, you couldn't see it well because it's so close, but it put another arrow. Um, so every once in a while, if you want to check where you are, you can just open the map and click right control K and it'll spawn an arrow in and you can see where you are right now. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you later, guys.